let's test our luck in opening. We finally got, um, so PUBG gives all the PUBG partners 15,000 G coin every, uh, every season, or at least, um, like the group of partners that I know, I don't know if they give more to like bigger creators or whatever, but they give 15,000, uh, G coin to the partners. And I've been waiting to, uh, spin those because I would like to try and get the new progressive skin mark 12 and it got delayed for uh na getting the g coin for some reason so now that we got it uh we're going to test our luck in opening as many crates as we need to hopefully to get it within the 15,000 g coin and then i have 91 contraband coupons available to open up a few more and we can actually get a couple more coupons uh here by doing this so every week be sure to buy your 10 contraband coupons with your uh, bp so that is that opens up one whole crate and then usually i like to spend the extra bp that i have on these crates because sometimes sometimes not not often but sometimes you'll get lucky and get a cool skin oh contraband coupon crate nice there you go and that contraband coupon coupon crate might might only have one contraband coupon it might have like 10 so we'll go open it up and see so let's go open one contraband coupon. There you go. And then we open up this guy. Might just be throwaway stuff. Yeah. Where's Waldo? Nothing crazy there. Polka dot t-shirt if that tickles your fancy. Some skinny jeans. Dress shoes brown. Gotta stay classy, of course. Some slip-ons. Some gray slip-ons, huh? Okay. Duplicates, duplicates, duplicates. No. Open. Ooh. Those are kind of cool. Military trousers. There's a lot of people asking for uh, military themed skins. That'd be a nice one to get, huh? So you can open up all these crates that um, don't require a key. The ones that require a key, you have to get the key for which you can buy in the store or you can buy them on the steam store uh and you can also just sell all these crates on the steam store which i probably should do to be honest i don't know what they're going for but um all right let's do it so uh we're gonna open 10 at a time we have we have 1800 g coin so how how many crates is that or how many op openings that so that's we have 15,530 g coin divided by 1800 G coin per 10 crates. That's gonna give us eight chances to open, which means we'll get 80 crates and we have enough contraband coupons up here to open up another, another one, another 10 crates. So we'll get 90 total crates that we can open. 90 total chances. We don't get it. We riot. Oh wait, before I actually open it, I should probably show what are the possible skins. So of course, the main thing we want to get, uh, everyone wants to get is the uh, progressive skin Mark 12. Here is level one. So this is what you get when you first open it up. And then if you go to uh, more detail, you'll be able to then purchase, notice how I say purchase, the different levels to level up the progressive skin to do all the cool things with it like the scopes and all that. And you know what I'm actually going to do after, after we open up all the crates, whether we get it or not, I'm going to hop over to one of my favorite games, Smite. And I'm going to show you guys what PUBG should be doing with their contraband system <clears throat> instead of this gambling kind of scammy thing they got going on. I'm going to show you what a favorite game of mine does do with a similar idea, but it, it's way better. It's way more fun for the player. And it actually entices you to continue to like try your chances at getting said cool skin. So let's let's do that. So we got that. And then <clears throat> if you don't like the um, the skin, but you open up that crate, you can get a number of other things. So you can get schematics, polymers, all of which you need to upgrade said progressive skins. You can get this pretty cool stat tracking, uh, battle stat tracking SLR which I think is pretty nifty and neat. Not my favorite SLR, but I, I like it. You can get the, um, a lot of these are gonna be rehashed from other crates, unfortunately. The TikTok M4, 
gold ak the no mercy car 98 i do like this wish it was stat tracking i feel like it should be but that one's a cool skin i think the no mercy m4 i also think that one's pretty cool looking <clears throat> i like the different color variations and a little attention to detail there uh this one i really like this reminds me of the kapow um desert eagle and sks <clears throat> from a couple seasons ago i would definitely pick up a k2 if i had that skin for it uh graza sks blah blah, blah desert digital pretty much all these are rehashes these are new the sweet mini 14 sweet m16 sweet crossbow shout out to the beer fridge uh pubg console absolute gamer with a crossbow uh, and then of course some rehashes 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 here's some new ones the two two-tone uh shotgun dbs i like this theme i think the mutant kind of reminds me of a shroud skin without the extra shroud logo so it's a, your cheap way if you're a fan of shroud to uh get your shroud skin mp5k double barrel lol who uses those p92 uh sickle pickle and a p90 and then of course some rehashes and rehashes and rehashes all right there you go so those are the possibilities wasn't that a 1911 no did i make a mistake is it a 1911 the 1911 god damn it mike your attention to detail all right come on big bucks no whammies wait 10 percent off you see that says 10 is that really 10 percent off it's always 1800 why do they say 10 percent oh maybe because if you open 10 at a time they give you a 10 percent off okay oh also also very important to note if for those who aren't familiar with the system if you use your contraband coupons to open the crates, you don't get any scrap. If you use G coin, you get 10 scrap per crate. So per 10, you get a hundred scrap. That scrap can then be used to buy uh, actual things here. Oh, I thought that was a little, um, breath of fresh air on the internet, man. you know, a little really guys. Come on. You know, all right, anyway. All right, let's go. Come on. Open it up. Big bucks. No whammies. No gold, we're not happy. No gold, we're not happy. Hey, I got the No Mercy K2. We're happy. Nice. Nice. That one's good. That one's good. What's up, yellow boys? Thank you for the follow. We're scratching, baby. All right, let's go. Come on. Not gold. It's not gold. Come on. All right, uh, 200 polymer is is needed. The rest of this stuff, not so much. Come on, let's go. Come on. There it is. There it is. There's some gold. Come on, baby. Okay, we got one gold, which means it could be a polymer. It, no, it could be a schematic. The progressive skin could be the battle stat SLR. But I think it actually could be the kill shot car 98 as well, which I wouldn't be mad at. Let's see. Come on. Third try. All right. Third try. We got the Mark 12 Cyber Threat skin. Nice. Oh, and we got a couple of the, the two tones, the Shroud uh, knockoffs and the Sweet M16. Very nice. So that's good. We got to keep uh, opening up some, though, huh? There's a couple skins we didn't get. I want to try to get the Car 98. I got mine in a single gold. Wow. Mike's cheating. Motorbike Mike is officially cheating. He opened up one crate. Oh, there we go. We got the, uh, no mercy. Car 98. We got two of the crossbows. Shout out, Beer Fridge. Oh, we got two of the car 98s. Untouchable. Nice. Nice. Okay. Open it up. Let's go. I'd love to get another progressive skin because I can sell it. Dang it. Damn, we got three of the car 98s. Got the, uh, LOL shotgun. M16, the Pepe by zone. We're getting all the good skins. Oh, shit. Lot of uh, car 98s. Lot of car 98s. Oh, we got what? Three more tries or two more tries? I'd love to get that battle set SLR. Got the 1911, not the P92. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Uh, is this our last crate, actually? Shit. Is there a last set of 10, I mean? Oh, it's gold. Yo, champ. You just jinxed it. 
He said only one gold so far. That's a scam. First of all, you're not wrong. This is a scam, and I'm gonna explain why in a minute. Not that everyone doesn't already know, but I'm gonna explain why. But as you said that, we got another gold. What's up, War? Thanks for the follow, buddy. All right, come on. We we want to see a battle stat SLR or another Cyber Threat Mark 12 that we can sell for three schematics. Let's scratch. He said, "Yay!" And we got one schematic. Okay. All right. All right. Not ideal, but not bad. Okay. So now we have, uh, we still have 11, 1100, uh, G coin. So we're actually going to, I think I'm going to save that G coin because I want to, I want to get the new, um, 10,000 days scar skin when that comes out next week. So we're going to use our, our free contraband coupons that we get every week. And we're just going to keep opening these bad boys up. MP5K, Mini 14, Sawed Off, LOL, Sawed Off, LOL, Augie Doggy, Polymer. Well, I think it just like glitched it out. <laughs> it opened the box before it flipped the thing. Um, I'm out of coupons. All right. So I'm out of coupons. See, I want to get this scar, but I want to get the one that comes out with 10,000 days as bundle. Um, this guy. I, I like this one. I do like this one, but I think I like the red one more. But I don't know, man. I got the T-Rex. T-Rex is pretty fire, too. I don't know. I'm going to sleep on it. This one isn't going away anytime soon. 70 days. So whenever the new one comes out, the red one, I'm going to compare them and see which one I'm... Uh, I'm really leaning towards. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and tick off these little yellow boxes so my OCD doesn't kill me here. Holy cannoli. Okay, get all that out the way. Here we go. Okay, so I have the M4 leveled up to level four because that's when you really get the cosmetic changes or the battle stat and the cosmetic changes. As you get further you get like the really cool cosmetic changes and stuff at level eight. The car 98, I did kind of a similar thing. I have it to level five. So I got the battle stat and the first skin change. And then level six gives you the kill feed, which is really dope. Then you get the scopes, then the rare skin, then the loot crate, then the headshot kill tracker. And for the Mark 12, let me see what level I really would like to have it at level four. Le level four would be the first level where I would like actually feel comfortable stopping going for the other things because then you get, you know, at least the, the weapon has the light ups and all that kind of stuff. Uh, level eight is the next upgrade. So if you look from here to here, it's a pretty big change actually. Oops. Okay. No, no, it's not, not as big as I thought you get this little bit added and you get the little metal, the metal bits added there. So not that big of a change. Loot crate and then the headshot um, tracker. The thing is though, guys, <clears throat> in order to get level two, which is the uh, magazine, in order to even get this, or magazine and grips, I should say. Kind of unfortunate that you're gonna wanna use a lightweight grip on this one, but the lightweight grip looks plain. The vert grip looks really cool, but you're really gonna wanna put the lightweight grip on this gun. Thumb grip looks cool too. Um, even to get this, <clears throat> I'm in whatever you done shopping. Okay. What's up, Midge? See them. Thank you for your sacrifice of contraband coupon. I mean, that's all free shit, dude. The contraband coupons are free. Remember, you just buy them with BP and PUBG gives me G coin. So zero sacrifice on my end. So yeah, so your question is, is kind of what I'm getting at. In order to get to the, the very next level, which is grips and magazines, Level two needs two schematics and 1800 polymer. It would kind of be okay if it was just polymer or either, or if you could use schematics, if you had enough, or if you could use polymer, but the fact that you have to use both means even to get to level two, I have to get one more schematic. The only way I can get another schematic is either selling one of these progressive skins, which gives you three schematics or 
you come here and you buy a schematic with your scrap <clears throat> and you get the scrap by opening crates you would think that you get scrap by scrapping weapons by salvaging your weapons but you don't you only get polymers um if you sell one of your weapons you get eight polymer the highest rank item i have would give me um 800 polymer in three schematics if i sold one of the progressive skins if i sold a stat tracking skin it'd give you 800 polymer so we could go to the scrap broker we can go to schematic and we can buy what we can afford two of these guys so we go boom and then we go uh weapons and this is only going to get us to level two because now we have three out of the two needed schematics do you want to use two and 1800 we say yes uh, now when we pick up the gun we'll have uh magazines colored and grips colored now if you want to go to level three which gives you battle stat you need another three schematics and another 2600 polymer and if you just watched we went through i guess about 14,000 plus g coin and we got one schematic we got one progressive skin which we can't sell because it's what we want to actually upgrade so it's not like you could just salvage it for three schematics because you need that skin to upgrade that skin and we got you know a lot of the other smaller stuff which is cool but none of that is, is worth anything in the game like if, to salvage it it's not not worth anything so you can see the dilemma now what i want to show you i want to show you and if you guys watch the stream you, you've seen me play this game one of my favorite games um of all time is called smite and i'm going to show you why i think pubg should really evaluate what they're doing with the hideout contraband system that is very gambly there's no other word for it it's scammy it's uh scummy it's gambling and uh it's not rewarding at all to the player like what, what i don't know how much dollars that is fifteen thousand g coin it's probably like 300 bucks or something like that if you just spent 300 bucks and you got the brand new skin but can only get it to level two you're probably going to be a little salty especially some people don't even get the skin imagine you spend all that money and you didn't even get the brand new skin that you wanted to get here's an example of how smite deals with we'll call it their their hideout their contraband crate system so they have really cool skins in this game super cool skins so in this instance they got this whole crate this whole um chest it's called a psychedelic chest inside of this psychedelic chest there's 17 items 17 items that you could get this tells you how many items of the 17 you already own and you can scroll down and see i i have this particular skin the scotty skin but i don't have any of these other ones yeah some of these are really cool a tiamat skin the ganesh skin uh the no uh, is it besides like these are these are cool skins so a lot of this stuff i'd be happy with getting so what you could do is you can go and purchase one of these skins individually for whatever that dollar amount is it might be 10 bucks 20 bucks whatever some of them are not purchasable you have to get them through the crate or you can spend 400 gems which is uh what 400 gems is 7.99 so eight dollars and you roll the chest and when you roll the chest, you're going to get a randomized uh, chance of one of these items. But here is the great part. Here is the part where it really separates from PUBG and where PUBG should really pay attention when they reevaluate their contraband system. Every time you roll this chest, it takes off one of these items because you're going to get one of the remaining items. So you can never get a duplicate item. So if I roll this chest, let's say I really want this skin. But I roll the chest and I get uh, this skin, this Vimana skin. Then this is going to say you have two of 17 items. So the next time you open it up, you're, you're only going to be able to get those other items that you don't have. You won't get duplicate items. So that's a big, big plus already. Then on top of that, you see here, it says five more rolls 
until your next treasure choice. And what that means is you spend $8 per roll. So if you rolled it five times, it's 40 bucks, okay? So 40 bucks, you roll it five times, then your next roll, you get to choose the exact item out of the box that you want to get. So like, let's say just bad luck, you really want to get, let's say this was the progressive Mark 12 skin right here. And all you got was all this other junk, five, you got five different things. One, two, three, four, five. You just spent 40 bucks. Then your next roll of the crate, instead of it randomizing and saying you get one of the other remaining items, you can tell it, I want this specific item. And then boom, you get that item for the same amount, 400 uh, gems. So you, you're not you're not getting scammed on the on getting duplicates that aren't worth anything. If you roll it enough times, you get to choose exactly what you want out of there. And I mean, th this is obviously something separate from PUBG, but a lot of these skins are just cool. Like their artwork is really, really good. There's like every skin has like different effects and colors and co like every it's not just like a the two tone um, color scheme. They copy and paste onto five different guns and you get that same gun seven times. You're like. You don't you don't get that feeling when you get some of these items there's, there's more value in it it's funner to do it because you know that like okay even if i get screwed on five rolls i'm eventually going to be able to choose the one i want to get you know and i don't know i just i wish I, you want to use that as an example because i've been playing smite for years and i've definitely spent a good bit of money in smite but mainly because stuff like that because i don't feel like i've been getting scammed out the game you know i feel like oh this is like this is fun i want to try and get that next thing that i you know the cool skin that i really want to use and uh you know i just feel like the way PUBG did it it's so unfortunate because it it, it could still be great but it, they've already put such a sour taste in everyone's mouth even if you're the kind of person who has a bunch of expend uh expendable income and you can blow 100 bucks a pop and don't even sweat it it's still for you it's not even fun you know like i just i really hope PUBG truly evaluates the contraband system and and really takes after some other prominent games in the industry like smite like counter-strike and um you know really really make some overhauls to it because in its current state i i, I almost feel bad making videos like this because like i'm showing off the cool skin that i'm only getting because um, you know, PUBG is giving me 15,000 G coin because I'm a PUBG partner. If I wasn't a PUBG partner, there's no way you'd catch me spending 15,000 G coin on a chance to get the base level one of that weapon. You know what I'm saying? Hope that makes sense for you guys. If it did and you enjoyed the content, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with a buddy. If you hate PUBG, uh, I guess you can down like the downvote the video. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Peace. All right, chat. We're done. We're done.